Hi, I'm Karen O'Connor, aka Lady K Quilts. You can find me under that handle on Instagram. And my website is ladykquiltsdesigns.com. Facebook, I have a page, Lady K Quilts. And I'm the new freelancer here at Janome, and I'm very excited. I am Marita Hernandez, and you can't find me anywhere. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, we, I am um, in business with my sister, and we are launching a website called buriedvintage.com, and so soon coming to your neighborhood. So what's the first thing you remember sewing? Mm. The first thing I remember sewing by myself were a pair of jam shorts in eighth grade home ec and I really enjoyed it, but now I'm not a big clothes sewer, so um, I've definitely moved towards quilts, but that was definitely the first thing I remember sewing with a machine. What inspires you to sew and create? My last, my most recent wave of sewing and creating was inspired by my, my niece being born in 2000 and 11 and I was inspired to make my sister a baby quilt for the baby shower that I was hosting and now I think back on that project and it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, so definitely now my inspiration is still Genevieve as well as our home and family, friends. Um, I've been very lucky to work with shops where my influence and style has been on demand and I've been able to help pick projects and sew with those. So inspiration I find in fabric as well as patterns and creating my own patterns. Very good. Does your sewing machine have a name? Is there a story behind the name? My sewing machine actually doesn't, and I name my vehicles, but I haven't named my machine. Um, I just, my Skyline S5, and I love it. I got it the first week they hit the market, and it's my best friend in my studio besides my dog. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most difficult project you've sewn? The most difficult project I've sewn is definitely a floral wreath that was about four feet by four feet and had about 30 some odd hoopings and by the time I went all the way around 360 degrees it had to line up. And so did it line up? It did. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about your worst sewing disaster. There has been a lot of blocks that have hit the, the trash can, a lot of quilt blocks um, and I've put sleeves in backwards, I've done all kinds of things, but um, I, I had a customer once tell me that every time something doesn't turn out quite right, it's just an opportunity for embellishment, and I've taken that to heart. And if you could pack up your machine and, if you could pack up your machine and sew anywhere, where would that be? On some sandy beach in the sun, with a drink in my hand, <laughs> close to the water. Probably not safe for electricity, but if I can run an electrical cord, I'd plug it in. 